Hi, um, I want to show a quick video on what's one way you can grade late work or missing work a little bit faster that's been submitted. I know some teachers will say, hey, email me when you turn in something late, but here's another way in using Google Classroom to grade that late or missing work. So I hope this helps you out. I teach middle school, so I have about 150 students, and so it can be kind of time consuming to go through and try to figure out who's turned it in. So here's my stream page. One thing I, um, I find helpful is that I don't put every assignment on this page. I just put my announcements on here. Um, and you can fix that by going to settings. You can go scroll down real quickly. And um, right here it says stream, only teacher can post or comment. So that's a quick way to kind of clean up your stream page. Uh, classwork. So here's the classwork that's been posted. So on here you would click on it, right? Usually it tells you that this many people have turned it in, zero, because I've graded that, two that are assigned, those two students who have not done it yet, and 29 that I have graded. And then as I scroll down here, I uh, just want to point out as well, another helpful tool is something called Wakelets. I can put class collections there. So Technology Wakelet, for example, is where I put all my collection of videos that I've showed the kids. Like if I showed the kids first how to use Kami with a video, I then do the lesson that comes following it, but I always put the videos I show them in this wakelet. So when I click on it, it pulls up a wakelet that shows all kinds of different video, YouTube videos that I have found that will help the students in case they forget or need more practice at using the different technology like Edpuzzle, News ELA, things like that. So let's go back to the classroom. So instead of me having to click on the actual assignment and then trying to go on clicking on here and then looking it up. There is a faster way if you're looking for those stragglers. So if you go to your stream page, here it says upcoming and it says view all. When you click on view all, it kind of gives you a sneak peek at everything that's been graded, assigned. So here's all my assignments is work in progress. Um, you can close that out if you want to and look at the no due date. So there's no due date on this because I haven't collected it yet. And then here it says observation inference quiz, zero turned in, meaning that everything's been up to date. I have two that I have not done it yet and 29 are graded. So yay, I'm all caught up on this stuff. So if you look, a lot of things I've been caught up with. So except for this one, this one, I obviously have 30 students and be grading. Let's find another period. So I'm looking at my period five. And slowly it's going to pull up my work. There it is. So here you can see I have a straggler here. So that's a quick way. What I usually do to kind of save some time, I like to kind of just grade all the late work at once. So I'll actually right click and hit open link in new tab. And then I'll go down and just do the same thing for anything else. So for this assignment, I would hit open link in new tab. And anyone else I had a straggler for, okay? Same thing here, straggler. And then I could just at the top of my computer, go through the tabs and quickly grade them and update them into Google Classroom. So here's just one way I have found that's a little bit faster to grade all that late and missing work. Hope this helps you out, makes distance learning a little bit easier for you. Have a good day.